And what's something else that's making me happy? This is a much lamer segue. What's something else that's making me happy? $2 gas. Let's talk about $2 gas. Felicia, you're up. Oh, my stars. Okay, so everybody has noticed that um, that gas prices have come down. It's been the story in the media for a lot. We can, uh, we can definitely lay that a lot at the feet of the success of fracking. We have uh, boosted our production a whole bunch. I really wish Corey were here. She could speak to this much better than I can. But suffice it to say, coming into the Christmas season, consumers have a lot more money in their pocket because it's not going into their gas can their other gas tanks of their cars anymore and this is a great thing you know that you think extra Christmas presents you're thinking you know maybe a little uh, little extra trip to see a couple extra days to go see the family during the holidays whatever it is but people have more money in their pockets they got more walking around money as it were and it's because these guys in the petroleum industry have done some amazing work. They have boosted output so much. Uh, the Saudis are worried. Everything, you know, all the good things that are coming from this are just enormous. And then we get this perspective from sfgate.com, uh, which is... And that's San Francisco, right? Imagine and so, okay? Uh, <laughs> and the, the it just sounds like granola, doesn't it? <laughs> it's so crunchy, it's not funny. Um... The title of this piece is called $2 Gas is the Worst Thing to Happen to America. I want everybody to just soak that up for us. The worst thing of all the worst of all the bad things that have ever happened to America. Ever, ever. Ever. Gas, totally the worst. Totally, man. Like, for sure. Completely. <laughs> I mean, $2 slavery gas. was bad, but this way... Worse. This will December not. December seventh, nineteen forty-one, kind of sucked. I mean, it rained in a few places, but this two-dollar gas thing, man, that's crap. Nine eleven, just to just to walk in the. The park, Jimmy Carter administration. Awful. Nothing. So, so is it is it bad because all of a sudden you know we're it's it's going to be easier for people to get to the grocery store with a little bit less money? Is it bad that people are going to be able to get to the hospital for needed treatments with they can a little buy bit more less money? Walmart, which makes they Walmart can... successful and that's bad. Oh, yes. It's not oh, bad. Yes, you guys, you, 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 you clearly, <laughs> since, since you're not on a coast like I am, you don't understand this. You're, you're, or you please don't understand the, the concept of environmentalism right. and the fact that, you know, if people are please. driving... No, 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 no. no. Educate no. the plebes. Educate no. the plebes. Yes. Thank you, thank you. I, I I can't even understand what you're saying because you're from Texas. Um, the thing is, is that if people have more money and and are have better access to uh to to gas, to fuel, they're driving around and that increases their carbon footprint, and that means that uh they're less likely to uh to 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 try and buy energy efficient vehicles and stuff that technically also burns fossil fuels because they need to power the electric plants somehow, but we don't really think about that too much. Here's, there are windmills involved. Here's there what the article says. When gas right prices skyrocket, we adapt in all the right ways. We drive less, we ride share more, we telecommute, we walk to work, we get out of our cars and back into the more connected social flow. Alternative transportation gained tremendous support and people begin to think differently for the better. And then you skip down in this article, and here is what they suggest. Here's an even more awesomely helpful and radical idea than increasing the gas tax just a little. Increase it $5 per gallon. Hell, make it 6 All of it earmarked for alternative energy and transport, environmental protections, our busted educational system, our multi-trillion dollar debt. Yes, let's double, no, triple the price of gas right now so that we can do these things that we are already kind of up in to our ears and hawk for doing, but we want to do more of them so let's make it more impossible 
for the poorest and the lowest income people to get around, do things, have more, have a little more at groceries in their cart or more presents under their tree. Screw that. Just jack up the prices three times as much. After the bill got passed in the in the House, I saw people calling Trey Gowdy a rhino, not what? just a rhino, but calling for him to be replaced for because he Clay? wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. What? 